Emotions ran high outside a courthouse in the city of Adiyaman in southern Turkey, where families of victims of last February's two massive earthquakes rallied with their supporters to demand justice. Among the lives lost, 24 children from northern Cyprus who had flown to Turkey to attend a high school volleyball tournament. They were inside the ECS hotel when it collapsed, killing a total of 72 people. We're here for our children, who with their little hearts and their love for sports had come to the city for only five days. And they returned home in coffins. We're here for our teachers, our friends, and for all of the earthquake's victims. More than half of the victims at the hotel were from northern Cyprus, whose prime minister is among the plaintiffs in the case. We lost our people from the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, our children, our champion angels. Therefore, our pain is great. This is what the hotel looked like before the quakes. Prosecutors say the building was illegally converted from a residence into a hotel in 2001 and that extra floors were added without any permits. Eleven defendants, including the hotel owner, have been charged with conscious negligence and, if found guilty, could face up to 20 years in prison. The case is one of many pending lawsuits. There have been widespread questions over construction standards following the two massive quakes that flattened buildings across southern Turkey, killing more than 50,000 people there and in neighboring Syria.